Hey, Miss Dada. Hey. I'm trying to get my phone down. Okay. I think I should have done this earlier. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're good. Can you can you hear me? Okay. Finally. Hi. Oh, it's lagging. It might be my connection. Hello? Hello. Hey. Okay. We got it. It's good now. It's not lagging anymore. Okay. How's it going? I don't, I don't uh, you know, it's it's going pretty good. What about yourself? I'm doing all right. <laughs> we, uh, we, we, we never really, I mean, we've talked probably once or twice before, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cassius. Nice to meet you. You too. I'm Miriam. I feel like you already know that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's hard not to know when you got one of the best players in the state. It's hard not to know who they are, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So how how is quarantine going for you? Um. It's been pretty good. I've been doing stuff that I never thought I would ever do, and mm -hmm. it's been pretty good. Yeah, quarantine is kind of hard for me because I don't play sports, so I have oh. nothing to work out for. So I just sit <laughs> there, and watch Netflix all day, play play two K or something. But I just wanted to, you know give some people a chance to join so now we're we're about to start hello everybody welcome to another episode of championship conversation here on championship conversation we talk to some of the best people around the country not only in the state of arkansas but around the country and today our guest is miss mariam dada hi <laughs> uh i appreciate you taking time out to join us today mm -hmm. and if there are some people, uh, which there probably won't be that many people, but if there are some people who don't know who you are, we're going to help introduce you. I want to help introduce you to the people. 2020 state champion, 2019, 2020 6A All-State. And she's ranked number one in her position, not only in the state, but in the entire country, all 50 states, not only one state, but all 50 states. And she is committed to Baylor. Yeah, I think you got everything. Did, did I miss anything? <laughs> no. Okay, so I was watching an interview earlier, and it said that you're from, well, you said that you're from Nigeria. When did you move from Nigeria to here? Uh, at the end of fifth grade. When okay. I was 12. So I was um, talk about that move from Nigeria to here. Um, I think it was a huge change for me, like the time different and like the the weather and everything. Because when I moved over here, I saw snow for the first time, and <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess that's a pretty big change. <laughs> yeah, it was it was something different, and um, I had amazing friends to help me cope with everything with school, and yeah, it was a. This is a huge difference. I um I don't know if you know who this is or not, but there's this Nigerian basketball hall of famer. His name is Akeem Olajuwon. Yeah, I know him. I, I know. I was I was joking, but <laughs> Akeem Olajuwon, a big part of his game was the footwork and the dream shake, and he got all that. At first, he wasn't playing basketball. At first, he was playing soccer mm -hmm. in Nigeria. So. How much of that Nigerian culture is in your game? I think whenever I started playing basketball, I watched them a little bit. And my footwork, I did not play in the sports before I moved over here. So my footwork was horrible. Uh, so I had to start from the basics, from everything, shooting a layup and like getting my one, two step right from the beginning. So I think watching him play and, um, that really helped a lot with my footwork and getting everything down. <laughs> well, let's talk about let's talk about Bentonville for a second. Okay. <laughs> Last year, 
Made it all the way to the championship. Heartbreaking loss. Yeah. Talk about the locker room after the game all the way until now. What was the shift from then to now? And from my point of view, we were all heartbroken and we knew we were right there. But the little things, we missed the little things and that's what cost us the game. Mm-hmm. And till now, we all remember that moment. Like the players on the floor, we still have that in the back of our mind, mm-hmm. even though we still made it to the state championship this year. But the locker room vibe was, it was something not to remember it was very sad that moment i can't i can't imagine it's just it's kind of like utah after (laughs) jordan yeah or like north carolina after villanova something like that yeah probably probably the north carolina one because i mean it's it's a different point of view someone watching it and like actually being on the floor because yeah I would I would say I would, I was there and I just remember like the whole everything like everybody was in shock and everything <laughs> it was crazy it was a crazy environment yeah continuing on the Bentonville topic you're about to be a senior mm-hmm. first off congratulations high school is hard it is okay? hard <laughs> it is not it is not an easy thing from class to to the kids, it is hard. But I just want to shout out class of twenty one because I'm representing class of twenty one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, talk about some of the individual goals and team goals you have for your senior year. Um, my individual goal is being able to be a leader on the team because I played. I started playing on varsity my freshman year, and that was. I, if I had to go back, I would say be more less or be more competitive and less scared whenever I played my freshman year. But also being a leader, this my going into this year, I would say being a leader and um, making it to the state championship again and being able to play it this time mm-hmm. and also preparing myself for college and the little stuff. So. That, that three years in a row that's that's a hard thing to do yeah <laughs> well i'll get them there so not not even mom didn't even do that so i mean you know some would some, some would say you'd be better than monk i'm just saying <laughs> i mean i saw him play once and like he was all right but yeah oh uh, i think he I, was right. I probably saw him play two or three times the environment in those games, crazy. Yeah, it any was... any 7 game, the environment is just it's just different. Yeah, it's okay. like a lot crowded than usual. Yeah, it is. The last serious question I want to ask you in this conversation: mm-hmm. the other day, you committed to Baylor. Congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you. What makes Baylor the right place for you? I just feel like it's a perfect fit for me and the, the way I play. And I don't know if, you, if you've watched them play. They utilize their post players a lot compared yes, to Yes, they, they usually have two big men out there. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just feel like going there is a perfect fit for me in general and, like, meeting new people and making new friends. I just want to... <laughs> I just want to say, it is cold at Baylor. Last time I went to Baylor, I was freezing, almost cried. It was so cold. <laughs> so have fun with that in November and December in January. Yeah, I'll be ready. But but you play basketball. Yeah, I'll so be inside like yeah. 90% of the time. And you live in Northwest Arkansas, so which is like the coldest part of the state. So yeah. I, I mean, I guess, but now here on Championship Conversations, we like mm-hmm. to have a little bit of fun. Okay. We don't, I don't want to just have like a, a whole business, ask you a whole bunch of serious questions because right. you're, you're what, 17? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody wants to sit here and talk about <laughs> serious stuff for a long time. So yeah. we just want to we just want to have a little fun. Okay. In school, mm -hmm. outside of outside of basketball, okay. what is your favorite subject? Huh. I would say math. I know a lot of people like hate math, mm -hmm. but like when I have like a good teacher and like I get along with them and everything, yeah, that's my favorite sub subject out of all of them. I like I like math too. It just not necessarily because it's um my favorite it's just because i get it and it's easy mm -hmm. so okay so now we're in quarantine which is not fun yeah but a lot of us have gotten a chance to watch new tv shows mm -hmm. we've never watched before yeah what are some of your favorite tv shows to watch i mean right now i'm re-watching some stuff on mm -hmm. on netflix but I would say, I don't know if you probably haven't watched this, but I would say Vampire Diaries. I don't know if you've watched it or not. No, nah, that's, that's more of a show for <laughs> girls. I, I don't really um, I stay away from that. And I would say, huh. I would say Friends. I've, I don't know if you've watched it. Mm -hmm, I've watched a little bit of it. Um, uh, let me think. Yeah, I'm naming a lot of like girl stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I've I've rewatched Hannah Montana because yeah. But see, but see, now that I have Disney Plus and Hannah Montana, that was a banger when I was little. So you yeah. know, I watch it from sometimes, not all the time now. Not gonna, <laughs> not gonna catch me on Hannah Montana all the time. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you have Netflix? Yeah, I have Netflix. I a hundred percent. If you haven't watched the Out of Banks yet, hundred percent. No, I've no, I've heard from like five of my friends to watch I'm it. To tell you. I'm trying to tell you, it's the best show on Netflix. I'll I'll give it a try. Look, it. Have you seen the movie The Goonies? Yes. Okay, so if you take The Goonies and put mm -hmm. all of the characters in high school, yeah, that's Out of Banks. That's Out of Banks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It it but but it's amazing though. It's like we can connect to it because we're in high school. Yeah, that's that's how I look at it. So you and I don't. I've never been to Nigeria, but I'm sure they have lots of good food there. Mm -hmm. If you could eat Nigerian food or American food, which one would you rather have? I would say American food because I've like been on it for a long time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What's what's one meal from Nigeria though that that's like really good that we wouldn't eat over here? Their fried rice. It's like different. Mm -hmm. It it's not like different different, but it's, it tastes different. Okay. But yeah, I would choose the fried rice. I don't I don't really eat rice, but I do <laughs> like. Yeah. I don't I don't eat rice because I'm weird. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I go to Mexican restaurants, I tell them no rice with my food. Yeah, I'm kinda weird with that too. But like not with the rice, but like different <laughs> food. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody knows the basketball player, Miriam Dada. Yeah. And she loves basketball. Yeah. I watched an interview. I watched a couple of interviews around trying to prepare for this one. Mm -hmm. I watched a couple of your interviews, and you said, all I do, if I'm not playing basketball, I'm watching basketball or watching film. <laughs> what are what are some other hobbies outside of basketball that you have? Um, I would say hanging out with friends or, like, going to the movies or, um, yeah, just hanging out with friends. So, so like... Quarantine really has hit you hard then because you can't, because you're real social, it sounds like. Yeah. So since you since you like going to the movies, mm -hmm. if me, you, and a group of friends go to the movies, mm -hmm. what kind of movie are we going to watch? I would say action movie because, like, I get that from my brothers mm -hmm. and we 
you've seen like all the Star not all the Star Wars, but like the recent one that just came out and like all the Avengers movies and stuff and sometimes scary movies, which I don't really like, but I just go to the movies anyways. <laughs> me, and you, me and you are the same person. If my friends want to go watch a scary movie, I'll go watch it with them. But I'll probably be on my phone texting the whole time because yeah. I don't I don't mess with scary movies. But action movies, I love action movies. They're they're amazing. Yeah. Like the Avengers. I love I I just I just got into watching the Avengers because my brothers watch them, but like I hate that they're three hours long. Like two and a half. Oh no. They're but but they tell a good they tell such a good story though. But it's so long. That's the I, but, I sit there and watch it, but it's long. But hey, I mean, you can sit there and watch three hours worth of TV shows. There's no difference. Uh, yeah, there is there is a difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's change the topic a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Earlier, I was talking about how you like to watch basketball and study mm-hmm. it. Who is your favorite team to watch? I like the Warriors. The Warriors? Yeah, I'm a huge Golden State Warriors fan. Hopping on the bandwagon, I see. Wait, wait. You just, uh, wait, what'd you say? I said hopping on the bandwagon, I see. No, no. I've been the Warriors fan before they even got better. Or oh, okay. They got there. So, so you were a Warrior fan before they won a championship. Yeah. When okay. Steph Curry was like not Steph Curry. Steph Curry's always been Steph Curry. But like he, he just blew up at a little certain time. But he's always been able to do stuff like this. Yeah. Okay. So you, you're a Steph Curry fan. Yeah, a huge Steph Curry fan. <laughs> so this year probably hurt when Steph Curry was hurt. Yeah, I was pretty, I mean, I wasn't happy because your team was not up there like they used to be. You know, I'm a Laker fan, so we've had to struggle for a while. Yeah. (laughs) So now that we're on top, you know, I'm happy. Yeah. But if, if you had somebody that you look up to and you say, that's my role model, who would it be? I would say my dad because he helped me to get where I am today. And if not for him, I probably wouldn't be playing basketball and I'd probably Mm -hmm. be like meeting new people or traveling all over the U.S. And like, yeah, I would say my dad. A lot of people that play sports usually Mm -hmm. try to model their game or take some stuff from professional players mm-hmm. like when I played basketball I tried to be like Kobe unfortunately I'm not 6'6 six, six, <laughs> you know <laughs> can't do all the same things like dunk on people and shoot it over people but <laughs> you know I tried who is somebody that you model your game after a little bit like in the women's side of the game or the men's or it doesn't matter any anybody I would say in the women's side I would say Candace Parker Mm -hmm. can do everything and like or Alyssa Leslie because we have the same body stature and whatever and on the men's side sometimes Katie and sometimes I try to put a little bit of Steph Curry in there but I'm not a guard but yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) it's hard to do it's hard to do Steph Curry things when you're not lightning fast and and shoot the ball extremely extremely well Mm -hmm. I mean you you shoot the ball you you have the ability to shoot the ball. Yeah. Steph Curry is just the best shooter of all time. That is true. But, I mean, you know, it's okay. <laughs> okay, last question on championship conversation. Mm-hmm. But before I say, ask this question, I want to say thank you for being a guest. And thank I appreciate you for having me. <laughs> you, you were a great guest, real funny. Today, I found out that you like math. Yeah. And you like hanging out with your friends. Yep. And you like going to the movies. Mm-hmm. And you watch a whole bunch of girly shows, but that's okay. <laughs> but, that's a, but that's okay. You can, it, 
you, you can expect that from a girl to watch some girly shows. Yeah. But I always end with this question. Mm -hmm. So if the WNBA draft was tomorrow, yeah. and it's, instead of the team picking you, you get to pick the team, mm -hmm. what team are you playing for? The L.A. Sparks. You know? It's in L.A. and, like, who doesn't want to live in LA and they have like every nice things and everything. So <laughs> I think, I think that if they started right now and people mm -hmm. got to pick the sparks would be pretty loaded. Jersey said she wanted to play for the sparks. Sasha what? said she wanted to play for the sparks. You said okay. you wanted to play for the sparks. <laughs> Kariah said she wanted to play for the sparks. You know, <laughs> I might as well just play for the sparks too. <laughs> You can be, be the like, best on the team. Yeah. I could be a point guard and get everybody yeah. the ball. Yeah. I could be like Joanna Joanna Man or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, I appreciate you being on here. You're a great guest. Thank you for good, having me. Good luck in your senior season. Mm hmm Thank you. I know it's I know it's gonna be hard. I know you and Jersey are kind of friends, but you will you'll have to see each other down the road. Yeah. When we're off the court we're friends, but we're we're on the court, not friends no, anymore. No, nobody's friends on the <laughs> court. I get that. I get that competitive nature. But yeah. Hopefully you make it to the championship again and hopefully win again. You know, a second one would be nice to your resume. Yeah. And yeah. last but not least, congratulations on Baylor once again. I know I've said that but I just want to Thank say it you. again because you worked hard. Number Thank one, num number one, that's your position. But that will end this episode of Championship Conversations, and goodbye. Bye. Thank you for having me. Man, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, everybody, that was Miss Miriam Dada, 2020 state champ, 2019 and 2026 A all state, number one at her position in the entire country, according to ESPN, and ESPN is a big deal, and she is committed to Baylor, and from what we found out today, she's just a regular teenager that likes to do regular teenage stuff. I am your host, Cassius Williamson. This is Championship Conversations, and I will see you next time.